hello hello thank you for tuning in today we're talking about habitats and cages for guinea pigs one of the first considerations when adopting guinea pigs is where they will live guinea pigs are relatively big for small animals so the space they need in their habitats and cages reflects that please remember if you also have a dog cat or other predators in the house you should diligently secure the cage against them in case they decide your guinea pigs are prey you should also ensure your guinea pig cage restricts children's access if you have them. Let's talk about those space requirements. Guinea pigs need a lot of space. Unfortunately, many starter kits for guinea pigs are not built to provide the necessary square footage. A single guinea pig needs 7.5 square feet of space, minimum, while a pair needs at least 10 feet. Unfortunately, most store-bought cages don't even come close to meeting minimum. That's why many guinea pig owners opt to make their own cages once they realize how much space their herd needs. Without proper space, and ledges do not count, your guinea pigs don't have enough space to exercise, socialize, and designate areas in their cage for different purposes. With adequate space, you can easily see things like where they've established the bathroom area. Let's talk about what you should not use as a guinea pig habitat. Before getting to the best options, you need to know the worst options for your guinea pigs. These should never be considered, and if you run across someone using them for guinea pigs, you should consider educating the owners. Aquariums. Aquariums initially look like a good idea since they're solid. However, most aquariums are too small for a single guinea pig, and solid walls mean there, means there's no air circulation to carry away the smells of the cage. That adds up to an unsuitable guinea pig habitat. Outdoor hutches. Guinea pigs are social creatures, and that includes with your family. An outdoor hutch limits how much time they can spend with you. Additionally, it can pose heating and cooling problems throughout the year. If you want your guinea pigs to have outdoor time, consider providing it in short stints under supervision. Let's talk about those great options for guinea pig habitats. Guinea pig habitats and cages should be placed in a temperature-stable part of your home that hangs out between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. Typically, you want to put cages somewhere in your living area rather than a spare bedroom so you can easily interact with your guinea pigs. Let's talk about the options. Store-bought cages are generally too small, even for one guinea pig. However, you can modify store-bought cages relatively easily. You can remove a side to join cages for one big cage or install a large diameter tube system if you want to, don't want to get too into DIY. This can link cages and provide the necessary square footage. CNC habitats. CNC is short for cubes and coroplast. This type of cage is considered the best since you can make them how you like. The coroplast forms the bottom of the cage while wire storage cube sides form the walls. You can add them to almost any shape and if you don't have any other pets, you can just leave the top uncovered safely. Custom metal cages. Another option is commissioning a piece from a welding shop as a cage bottom. This choice lets you control the dimensions and shape. Then you form the cage tops and sides out of what you have around, like chicken wire. This cage type is durable and sturdy, provided you put a moisture barrier on top of the metal to prevent rust. Other options. You can also create homemade guinea pig cages using guinea pig safe materials. You can calculate the floor space by multiplying the length by the width to ensure your design matches your guinea pig's needs. That's all for today. Thank you for listening. Remember to subscribe below and have a great one. Bye.